Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and I hope that you've been enjoying all the activities that we've been uh, bringing to you guys every week and having fun um, just putting those things together or just having fun creating, decorating, all those fun things. Uh, I wanted to talk about something that I think we are all probably going through right now, especially um, not just with COVID, but just the end of the year and just with the way things are. Um, and that is the topic of like waiting, patience, and finding joy um, in those things. Um, so maybe you're waiting, f just like all of us, for life to return back to normal, for COVID to be gone, um, for being able to see your friends again on a regular basis without a mask and just be able to hug everybody again or waiting even to go back to school or um, for La Semilla to be the way it was before. It is so difficult to have to wait for things to be the way you want it to be or for it to be back to normal, for all those things. Very difficult. But we have to learn how to be joyful and that doesn't always mean that um that everything is the way we want it to be and that oh i can be happy because it's going the way i want but it's finding um joy and being able to be patient when things aren't how we'd like them to be um one way that i've been able to get over feeling negative or, or um discontent or impatient with um with things in life right now is what i do is i find things that i can thank god for in that day whether it's wow god i felt you with me when this happened or wow i was able to easily fall asleep without thinking too much or thank you god for the fact that i have such wonderful family members who care about me or um the joy that i find in being able to practice music those are little things that i'm able to thank god for and when you are positive and you're able to be thankful regardless of how you uh feel or what whatever's happening um when you are thankful and you express how thankful you are to God or to other people just um, thanking them for things that they do for you, um, it changes your attitude. It changes how you feel. And it allows you to say, hmm, yeah, maybe things are a little difficult right now and I have to wait for life to be normal and I have to be patient um, for maybe for things to go the way I want, but I can be thankful today because of these reasons. And any time that we're able to be thankful, it just it just puts us in a, a different place and we're able to to just spread that also to other people. And maybe you can today what you could do is get a piece of paper and number it and write three to five things that you are thankful for today and maybe share that with somebody else who is um, having a hard time too in this season of having to wait.